Madonna Madness in New York City. Die-hard fans lining up for days, hoping to get a chance to see a rare performance. Hey, Madonna rules, Madonna rules. Madonna, a pop icon who seems to have super attached to everything she does, superstar, super diva, is not playing a supersized arena, but a small gig at a Tower record store, free for those lucky enough to get in. What goes through your mind? I mean, you're a few minutes away from greeting, what, a few hundred fans yeah. in a record store. What are you thinking? Uh, well, it's a little bit absurd. I mean, I've never done a gig in a record store before. Your whole career, this is the first time you've ever done anything like this? Yeah. So I'm going backwards. All right. You want to walk downstairs? Sure. When I do Hollywood, I have to wear my sunglasses. They should open the door. Do we have room? Did the nerves go away when you sing your first song? Mm -hmm. So it's just the moment getting to stage? Yeah, it's always the first song. Have you ever blanked on the stage? Majorly. How bad? Just, you know, just totally forgot like whole chunks of songs. And what I do is I just sort of throw myself around on the stage and dance. Gyrate like and things like that. Watch the, first the hips, headquarters. not the lips. <laughs> Nervous, approachable, even demure. Who's that girl? There was a time when I was happy in my life. Okay, you've heard it before, and if you're cynical, you'll have your doubts. But this does seem to be a new Madonna. Forget the days of raw, blonde ambition. She's now a brunette mother of two, who at age 44 is more reflective than reactive. You know what, I didn't really give a what was going on in the rest of the world. I just didn't. I just wanted to like focus on me, 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 my career, you know, my life, just me, blinders. Here's something you said. I was a buffoon until the age of 40. Yes. Yes. I was. That sounds like a lot of wasted time. No. Who said it was wasted? I just did oh, a lot buffoon. of... Buffoon? Who wants... Who strives to be a buffoon? I don't think anyone strives to be anything negative. I just think that it's our nature to um, only focus on a few things in life and forget about a lot of other stuff. Yes, she's had her many incarnations before, changing her image like most people change their clothes. But this latest one is perhaps the closest we've gotten behind the curtain and into her state of mind. Not myself when you're around. Madonna at Midlife is what she sings about in her new album, American Not Life. She's co-written every song, and they're some of the most personal of her two-decade musical career. I'm in love with you. There are intimate lyrics about the love she says she's found with husband Guy Ritchie. Nothing is what it seems. As well as the title song, in which she not only raps, but takes an honest and harsh look at her life in the material world and the Madonna image-making machine. Let me read you some lyrics from the song American okay. Life. I tried to be a boy, I tried to be a girl, I tried to be a mess, I tried to be the best. I guess I did it wrong, that's why I wrote this song. This type of modern life is it for me. This type of modern life is it for free. Mm -hmm. what, is, what do you mean by that? That's, yeah, trying on different guises, different personalities, being a rebel, being androgynous, you know, doing all these kind of things, trying to be number one on the top. Um, but I guess I did it wrong, meaning I, I, I'm 100% sure that getting people's approval is not, is not a goal to have in life. So after 20 years of fame and the fortune that comes with being a superstar, can it be that Madonna's had enough of being Madonna? I have all these things. I've experienced all these experiences. And I can tell you from my vantage point, which is what most people perceive as the top, that none of those things are really real. Well, you know? Let me play devil's advocate for a second, please. because let, please do. <laughs> yeah. Please stop me. Um, because it sounds a little bit like Madonna. You're someone who's benefited from celebrity as much as anyone has, and enjoyed it. Benefited, enjo and but I've also seen the other side. Okay, of it but as you well. enjoyed the ride, and now it seems at forty-something years old, you're looking back and saying celebrity bull. 
Um, to a certain extent, I am, because I see that how obsessed with celebrity everybody is. And I'm saying, you know, if you're only halfway up to the top, you can hardly say, I know it's not going to bring me happiness. I know it's baloney. Big deal. Talk about your 180. After all, this is the same woman whose love of fame left even the famous stunned. Remember that moment with Warren Beatty in Truth or Dare? Do you want to talk at all off camera? You have nothing to say. <laughs> she doesn't want to live off camera. Why would you say something if it's off camera? And tomorrow, you're going what, to be What point is there of existing? Let me give you something else you said. It's the allure of the beautiful life. Look like this and you're going to be happy. Drive this car and you're going to be popular. Wear these clothes and people are going to want to sleep with you, I'll paraphrase. It's a very powerful illusion and people are caught up in it, including myself, or at least I was. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, but you are too. We all are. It's our nature and it's okay. The thing is, if nobody tells you that it's an illusion or nobody brings your attention to it, then how are you going to know? Bye, bye. But is this older, wiser Madonna just another way to get our attention? After all, she's at a critical point in her career, coming off declining record sales. Forgive me for being in a rush to get to civilization. And a movie career on life support. I can't believe I found that. Madonna! But the one thing she's always been is a master at creating buzz. Everything she does becomes an event. A fashion photo spread for W Magazine turns into an art exhibit. Try downloading her new CD off the internet and you don't get the songs, but a classic Madonna moment. What the f*** do you think you're doing? Make no mistake, Madonna is always in control of the image she wants you to see. I've interviewed you probably a half a dozen a times. Time. Yeah, a and lot of times. I remember none of them. I know, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not a very memorable guy. I always had the impression that you were very happy with who you were at whatever given time I was talking to you. Yeah. To a certain extent, I was, but how do you know that there, there weren't things going wrong in my personal life, in my relationships, with my family? I mean, how do you know, you know, there, there wasn't chaos going on somewhere in my life? We'll get to that later, but first, where there's Madonna, there's controversy, and American life is no exception. Yes, she's pushed buttons before. taking on the church. Wanting for you to justify my love. And taking off her clothes. But this time, she's done something really shocking. She's gone out of her way not to offend people. I'm just living out the American dream, and I just realized that nothing is what it seems. In an uncharacteristic move, Madonna pulled the anti-war video that was supposed to launch her new American Life album and created a new sanitized version. The original showed her dressed in combat gear at a fashion show. I filmed it in January, and by the time the video was finished, we were at war. And many of the things that I sort of was trying to depict or warn people out about were already happening in the world. But, you know, with everything that's going on right now, and you know, the soldiers being killed and wounded and, and the destruction that's taking place, and, and I just don't think it's appropriate. Here's where I have to stop you. If you wanted to make a pro-peace, anti-war video, mm -hmm. what better time to show it and get people to look at it than a time of war? I agree with you in theory, but unfortunately, um, I feel like um, America's in a really volatile place right now, and there's a lot of really confused people. And I'm not interested in being a target for a lynch mob mentality. So, th so this is personal safety. This isn't an unwillingness to push some buttons? It's a, no, it's a combination. I'm, I'm very willing to push buttons. I don't have a problem with that. But I think, I think that what people would misconstrue was that I was slagging off President Bush, and I'm not. I think that they would misconstrue that I was um, making light of what's happening to the soldiers in Iraq, which I'm not. I just don't think that people, right now, things are so serious and people are so volatile that they're not going to see irony. They're not going to see...